Welcome back to Building Character, where we figure out how to play as your favorite fictional characters in Dungeons & Dragons. Join the Patreon to vote for Angel or Iceman from the X-Men, and like and subscribe for bigger meals next time you play. Maybe. Today we're building King Shark. He's a shark. Let's start off with our goals for this build. First, we need to munch squad with a big old mouth that we use to arm the noms. Next, we need swimming lessons, or I guess we don't. Sharks are born knowing how to swim. Finally, I just want to be big, and I'm guessing you do too, because you're watching a video about King Shark. For stats, we'll be using the standard point buy from the player's handbook. You're a wild animal, but your stats are pretty straightforward. Set your strength and constitution at 15. If you can't be in charge, you might as well be large. Though sharks don't have to be large, a dwarf lantern shark can fit in your hand, Shark fact. Put your dexterity at 13. Despite your massive size, you're also massively quick. Wisdom can hang out at 12. You'll actually have more wisdom skills than strength skills, but that's just sort of because there's only one strength skill. Dump your intelligence and charisma at 8. You're so stupid and bad at talking. Nobody knows if your origin story is accurate. You can tell your people your dad was a shark god, but they don't believe you. And you're just a giant shark man standing right in front of them. Since your origin story is walked into a tavern, already a shark, what more do you need to know? I'm just gonna make you a Simic hybrid so we can swim right away. You get plus two constitution and plus one strength. The plus one can go anywhere, but strength is gonna be the best bet. A great white shark's bite is roughly four times that of a lion in terms of PSI. That's another shark fact. This video is going to be a little short. Hopefully you don't mind that I'm padding it out with shark facts. You get 60 feet of dark vision to see in the ocean depths, and an animal enhancement underwater adaptation is obviously the pick for you, giving you a swimming speed and the ability to breathe underwater. Sharks can do that. That's a really, really basic shark fact. Grab the marine background for athletics and survival skills to help you swim really fast, or to track your prey through the water like bear grills. Or bear gills, that's pretty much what a shark is bear with gills. We'll kick things off as a barbarian, letting us grab two skills from the barbarian list. Like animal handling and perception, you get along pretty well with your finny fellows, unless you smell some blood. And then you get to go into a feeding frenzy that I'm going to call a rage. That gives you advantage on strength checks and saves, extra damage with strength-based attacks, and resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Currently, you don't have a bite attack, but when you do, that extra damage is going to be coming from serrated teeth. You also get unarmored defense, being your AC 10 plus your constitution and dexterity modifier when you're not wearing armor. A whale shark's skin is roughly four inches thick to insulate them against the cold ocean. Now you know that's a shark fact. Second level barbarians get reckless attack, letting you make your attacks with advantage as long as you don't mind giving your enemy advantage on attacks against you. Don't think of it as a tactical thing. You're not a tactical guy. It makes you hit more. You like hitting. Hit more. You also get danger sense, giving you advantage on dexterity saves against traps and spells you can see. Normally I talk about fireballs here, but I think in the ocean, nets are a bigger threat. God, I would hate to be the tuna fisherman that caught King Shark. It would actually be better than a regular shark since you could apologize and there's a small chance he'd accept that apology. Very, very small. Third level barbarians get to choose a primal path, and this is a hard one. Well, it would be if there wasn't a straight up shark barbarian. Path of the Beast lets you give yourself a natural weapon that you can use while you're raging. Obviously, we're going to go for a bite. You don't claw. You don't have a tail. Wait. Yeah, you don't have a tail. Bite people. This lets you deal 1d8 piercing damage, and you can heal your proficiency bonus and HP once per round if you have less than half your health total. You also get a lot of health, which means this is going to activate late, but it's also better because you have a lot of health and you'll be able to do it longer, if that makes sense. You can also grab another skill from the Barbarian list, like Intimidation. Spielberg made sure that everyone would be afraid of you, even if deer kill 10 times as many people as you do per year. Y'all freaking out about Jaws should be worried about antlers deer fact surprise fourth level barbarians get an ability score improvement start with your strength i want to rip and tear treat your foes like garlic bread dip them in marinara and eat so much of them that you're not hungry when your main course arrives god i'm hungry do not write scripts on an empty stomach folks fifth level barbarians get extra attack letting you make two attacks instead of one with your action that's called a double dip it's bad social distancing but we'll let you get away with it you also get fast movement, adding 10 feet to your movement speed while you're not wearing heavy armor. Obviously, you're not wearing armor. You gotta show off the muscles. That's how you're gonna seduce John Constantine. Also, I don't wanna shame or anything, but John is kind of easy. You probably could do that without the muscles. You get another animal enhancement at this level. Carapace adds one to your AC when you're not wearing armor, making you extra thick. That's all you need to get John to hook up with you, honestly. Sixth level beast barbarians get bestial soul, letting you pick one of three options at the start of a short rest. You can get a swimming speed, which you already have, so that's a bad option. You can climb ceilings and walls, which is cool, even if it doesn't seem totally accurate. Or you can add an athletics check to the distance of your jumps once per turn. That's going to be my pick. It lets you take your shark muscles and combine them with your human legs to be a kangaroo shark. Quick shark fact. There is no such thing as a kangaroo shark. Your natural weapons are also magical in terms of overcoming resistances, so you could eat a ghost. 
like Pac-Man. Seventh level barbarians get feral instinct, giving you advantage on initiative rolls probably because you were already swimming forward. Sharks can't close their eyes. Some sharks don't even sleep. So yeah, you're ready to go. Shark fact. You also get instinctive pounce, letting you move half your movement with the same bonus action you use to enter your rage. Again, you're already moving, constantly, never stopping, only eating. I'm weirdly also describing Pac-Man again. Is Pac-Man a shark? Eighth level barbarians get another ability score improvement. Cap off that strength so you can rip someone's entire dang head off with a single bite. At least you could if you critically hit, especially a bar barbarian level 9 since you get brutal critical adding an extra damage die to your critical hits 3d8 plus 8 piercing damage in a single hit followed up by another bite and you can effectively double your crit chance with reckless attack ask amanda if you care about the number crunching on that but i'm pretty sure we lost you as soon as we said crunch what was the second word we said though 10th level beast barbarians get infectious fury letting you force a wisdom saving throw on a creature you hit with a bite attack dealing 2d12 psychic damage to those that they fail or you could force them to use their reaction to attack another creature within melee range this is supposed to make them rabid i think but i like the idea of you screaming i will only stop biting you if you stab green arrow you have an amount of these equal to your proficiency bonus per long rest so don't be afraid to make other people afraid 11th level barbarians get relentless rage meaning that you don't die the first time you hit zero hp while raging instead you can make a dc 10 constitution saving throw then you just hit one hp instead the dc goes up by five each time so eventually it becomes impossible but i'm not doing math just tank through the hit bite through the tank and heal because you swallowed some tasty tank parts 12th level barbarians get another ability score improvement constitution is the number one goal right now it raises your infectious fury dc as well as your ac and also your health health is good 13th level barbarians get another brutal critical die to make everyone else critically die if you want them to you're allowed to have friends you don't have to make everything die actually almost all sharks hunt and pack so that shark fact will transition nicely to the 14th level of beast barbarian giving you call the hunt this lets you give a number of creatures equal to your constitution modifier a d6 to add to the damage of their attacks while you're raging and you get five temporary hp for every ally who accepts the buff as if you weren't thick enough already 15th level barbarians get persistent rage meaning that you don't have to leave your rage unless you want to why would you want to i don't know maybe being a crazy screaming shark man would be rough at a formal dinner party let's be real though you're not getting invited to formal dinner parties 16th level barbarians get another ability score improvement so you can round up your dexterity and round off your constitution modifier that's plus two ac in one level i don't even know how many c's that is on the thickness right now 17th level barbarians get a third brutal critical die and hey that's more damage every layer of brutal critical is an extra layer of teeth sharks can have over a thousand teeth that's a lot of critical hits and a lot of shark facts 18th level barbarians get indomitable might meaning that you can't have a strength check lower than your strength score currently 20 and obviously it can't get higher than that unless sorry we actually have to go to 19th level of barbarian before we can segue that joke you get an ability score improvement or a feat let's grab the piercer feet adding one to your dexterity score you can reroll one damage die on a piercing attack per turn and when you land a critical hit with a piercing attack you can add another damage die that's 6d8 in one bite like that video of that guy who ate a big mac in one bite fun fact i didn't know if that was a real thing then i googled it there's thousands of people on youtube who have done that it's terrifying our capstone is the 20th level of barbarian making you a primal champion meaning that you can rage an unlimited amount of times and add four to your strength and constitution scores letting you break the 20 point limit as well for 24 strength and 24 constitution according to all known laws of hydrodynamics there's no reason a king shark should be able to have 24 strength king shark of course does it anyway because king shark can't do math now that we've hit level 20, let's figure out how viable this build is. First, you're big, and you take big bites. Without a crit, you can deal 2d8 plus 11 damage per round, but with every crit, you'll add 4d8, and that's magical, so you're very consistent. You're also a beefy fish, with well over 250 HP, resistance to physical damage, regeneration below half health, and a decent 19 AC to keep you in the fight for a long time. Finally, you're fast on the ground and in the sea. You've got 48 horizontal jump distance and 34 foot vertical jump distance from your bestial soul to get you where you need to go. For weaknesses, if a creature can fly higher than 40 feet, your only method of dealing with them is throwing stuff. That's rough. You're also not very smart, and while Feeble Mind would do basically nothing to you, pretty much every illusion is gonna bamboozle you. Finally, the shark look isn't very hot, or I guess it should say it's not hot to most people. You could have issues finding a date or even just walking down the street without people screaming. But real love comes from the inside, and you're great at getting to people's insides. Bite people, never die, and just keep swimming. Maybe just work on your interpersonal skills. It's not great when the only team that wants you has suicide in the name. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe for more. We make two videos every week. Join the Patreon to vote for Angel or Iceman from the X-Men and sub to Tulak and Mango for more Tulak fun.